Right, I think it's about time we got our life together. Yeah. Why have you bought crisps outside? I was hungry. See what I mean? Now, if you've been with us a while, you'll know that we are very prone to bad luck. We reset quite often and hope for some good luck, but it's usually the bad variety. <laughs> but today is another one of those great resets, and with a great reset, you normally have to write a list, so... Uh... I think before we get into the list, I think we should just name a few things that we've come home to. For example, we came home to mould and damp. Thank you so much, they're going to help Mama's tummy. Should we do a quick damp tour? Yeah. <laughs> so over here in the lounge area, we have our chimney breast, which has got our log fire underneath. And you guys might remember that when we went away for our first trip in the van, it was cut short because, well, we had water everywhere and it was, it was pretty bad. Carl's just rang me after feeding the cats and said, there's damp in the house. Wait, but it's not just a what? it's not just a bit of damp. As in more than there was by the fireplace. As in since we've been away, there's a lot of damp in the house. But little did we know it was way more than just what was in the fire. We just hadn't discovered that yet. So if I take you into the breast, in that top corner you might be able to see a damp spot. And then in these two corners down the bottom, there was just complete mould. They sent a handyman out, he scraped back all the all the damp and the mould and then painted it over with a, what, like a mould resistant paint? I think so, I'm actually not sure. And this was completely white, but something's come back through here. But strangely enough, the rest of it is upstairs, which doesn't make, well it does make sense because... It only makes sense if there's two separate problems. Yeah, so that's probably coming from the ground, and in the kitchen that's coming from the ground. So where we're stood now, which is the door, right above us here, there's damp on this wall here but there's no damp anywhere downstairs. Which leads yeah. us to think that it's probably coming from up. Yeah, coming from the roof. Rather than down. But in this back corner here, right next to where my head lay at night, is one of the affected areas. And then behind this desk that I've now put here, all down the back of there, other side of the window. So that's concerning for a couple of reasons. One being, I've got asthma as well, so me sleeping right next to a wall that gets damp when it rains is not a good thing. And two, obviously, it's just not, I mean, it's, it's like water comes down the side of the walls. It's the strangest thing. So if anyone on here works with damp or anything and can give us some tips or maybe ideas of where to go from here, I mean, we are going to write an email to the estate agents to work out how this can be resolved because we can't live in a house that's full of damp that then causes mold which is why we have a negative mindset towards most things like oh of course it's yeah, gone because wrong. you avoid disappointment if you don't get your hopes up you can't be disappointed oh what you found a house that you really like and you love living here Cozy. oh we'll throw a bit of damp in for you that'll be lovely won't it it's just like every time we get something that seems really good something's gonna happen i think it's just one of those things where it's like you don't know until you start living somewhere i mean the second second house that we rented the whole pipe burst and almost flooded our entire house if we hadn't been there then we would have had a house flood and it ruined our sofa what can you do you can't just you can't look around and say oh yeah it's got damp because there is no damp it was hidden is it causing my rash how long can you live with damp before it starts causing health problems. My health anxiety is already through the roof. I don't Daddy. need to be... Turkey! Don't need to be thinking about like what damp's gonna be doing to me. And the bathroom too, which came all the way down here. You can't see it right now because it's not rained. The paint is still wet. I really hope we don't have to move because we just moved and that would be a real pain in the bottom. In general, when it comes to the winter months, we're not very good at adapting to the daylight saving thing. Oh. They change the clocks and it really does give me seasonal depression. Yep. Can we just stop doing that, maybe? Some people love it. Some people think we should save it and keep it all year round. No, no. Yeah, no. How can you be productive in the dark? No, it's you so can't, annoying. You can't. Morning, guys. What you got? That, thank you. What is that? Oh. What is it? Oh. Onion. It's an onion. Oh. I think. Yeah. Car. That is a car. Clever boy. Yeah. Beep, beep. So it's no secret that recently we've been all over the place. And I've seen a few comments saying, hey guys, you know what? We kind of just miss your home life videos where you'd film what you're up to in the house with Cozy. Well, here we are. What are you going to cook me then? Okay. You, you've got to cook me something. What are you going to cook me? Yeah. We're just doing music instead. Mmm, <gasps> that's so tasty. Mmm. 
<laughs> he's so funny. So Mummy's currently having a shower and get, making herself um, she, what she likes to call presentable. And we're basically just going to give you an update on, I don't know, life. Because that seems to be what everyone wants to know right now. And to be honest, we've got a lot to update you on. Oh, oh Cozy's coming to say hello. 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 Ah, oh, you're so kind. Right. I guess today we're just gonna go about our day as we normally would and kind of talk you through everything we've been up to, everything that is going on in our, well, pretty hectic life, I would say. It's never smooth sailing, let's put it that way. If you guys have been watching our shorts, you would have seen that um, I've been getting Liana pumpkin spice lattes wherever we go. They just taste like pumpkin flavoured water. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> and the only one she's really liked is this one that I got from a random cafe and we went to... Where were we? That's good. So, since nowhere else kind of comes close, so Starbucks she didn't like, Costa we went and got their Hazel, whatever it is. We got one from Dunkin' and apparently they were just suck, so... I thought to myself, why don't I? make her one at home. So I bought myself some uh, pumpkin spice syrup. I have no idea how much of this I need to put in, but we're gonna make Liana a homemade pumpkin spice latte and take it to surprise her after a shower just to see how she feels about that. Hopefully it's the best one she's had. <laughs> Can I help you? Uh -uh. Don't go in there. As you can see from that last clip, um, child locks are definitely something on today's list as well for the kitchen. Isn't that right, Cozy? Don't pull on that. We interrupt this program to bring you feeding time at the zoo. Oh, you bought your own cutlery today, I see, sir. Right, I'm glad we've sorted that one out. Usually, whatever Liara and I eat, I'll just make extra so that Cozy has some the next day. You waving? You saying hello? He's definitely like way too big and old for this high chair now. So we are, again, another thing on our very long list of things to do. Mummy's gonna get him a, a nice table and chairs to sit at and eat because he's, he's beyond this high chair now. He doesn't need me to sit here feeding him. He can feed himself. I'm just doing this now so he doesn't make an absolute mess of himself. Yeah. No. Oh, more, okay. We've both actually been quite ill. We got, um, I mean, I say quite ill, we got a cold. But it's one of those annoying colds that comes with that really irritating cough that you just can't get rid of. <coughs> Mummy actually avoided it. She got a little bit of a cold, but then got over it after like the second day. But me and Cozy have just been coughing our bloody lungs up for the last week. And there's no signs of it going anywhere. But at night time, he's really <coughs> struggling to sleep because it might be something to do with him being laid down. I'm not entirely sure. But you, you're getting through it like an absolute champ, aren't you? So we've decided that once he's better, we are never seeing anyone ever again because we don't want to be ill. So we're just going to become hermit crabs and just not leave the house because that's the only way you can not get ill. Oh. Mummy's here! Yay. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Daddy. Are you nice and ready now? Well, I've got nothing to wear. Right, oh. <laughs> what, what do you mean? What are you wearing now? It's fine. It's freezing outside. Do you know how cold it is? You can borrow my jacket. I'm going to make you something, so if you would like to go into the living room quickly, uh, I'll bring it out to you. Is it food? Because I'm really hungry. It's not food, but you should probably eat if you're hungry. That's not... We need to go shop. Okay, okay, I'll be quick then. Uh, who's picking these balls up? Well, I didn't do it. Cozy did it, so I think there's only well, one... Well, something tells me someone encouraged it. No. I don't think you just... I don't do, do things like that. The joys of children, eh? One minute your lounge is clean, the next minute it's obscene. Ha! <laughs> did you hear that, Bab? Huh. It really only takes like one meal to mess up your kitchen. This was clean earlier. Right, so basically what I've, I've found out is to make a pumpkin spice latte, you actually need more than just pumpkin spice syrup. So uh, I'm basically just making her a cappuccino with pumpkin spice syrup. I mean, she might like it. So I'm really not sure how much of this to put in. So I'm probably just gonna go for it. Does it say? Oh, natural pumpkin flavoring. Well, let's have a go, shall we? Whoa! I don't know if I want to heave or not. Right, I'm probably not gonna do too many then because that, that does smell a bit strong. I can't even try it because I'm ill and I don't want Liana to get ill. I'm gonna just add one for good luck. 
And of course, we have to top it off with a little bit of cinnamon. The moment of truth. Are you doing, are you doing the fishy song? Yeah. Yay. I have made you a homemade pumpkin spice latte. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't get too excited because well, the it's, fact it's that you're not... Well, you're, you're kind of like doing this, which makes me think that there's not much in it. Well, it's not a pumpkin spice latte. It's like oh. a pumpkin spice syrup cappuccino. I Thank will do this goodness. properly at some point. I just didn't realise there was so much to making one. It's not just as simple as putting syrup in. Ooh. What? Hold on. That's a... That's good. No, no, it's not. Yeah. It's actually. Yeah. No way. Yeah. How many like points and back scratches do I get for that then? Well, it definitely beats the Greg's one. Do you know what? Wait, go on then. Put me on do the list. Do you know what? It tastes like that first one we got, the one that's at the top of the, the car. Yeah. No way. I, I bet that's what they've done. They just put syrup into a latte. So you're telling me I'm like top of the list, or am I second? Yeah, probably second. That's right. Oh, good. That's let's good. go. So for those of you that aren't familiar with Liana's tier list, here it is. And uh, there I am in second place. I am on chicken, chicken, chicken noodle soup. I'm on chicken. I can't even say that. I'm on chicken noodle soup duty because I made it yesterday. Because obviously my two boys are poorly. Connor's got the man flu version, which is basically the same version that everyone else has got, but because it's Connor, it's worse. So that is what I shall be making. If you're wondering if I'm still crusty, yes, is the question. Although it's looking. A lot better. Although, I do think, actually, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna start making the food, otherwise it'll never get made. Before yesterday, I've never made chicken noodle soup before. It was a success. The only thing I've made that I've not burnt. You know it's bad when I'm drinking celery juice. Now, if you've been with us for a while, you'll know that I absolutely hate celery, and I think it shouldn't be a thing, and the taste of it is absolutely vile. I hate it, but, it's supposed to be really good for your skin and really good for eczema and really good for being anti-inflammatory. So I've started drinking it. Thanks, Dave. I shall continue to deal with it. I'd be lying if I said that I didn't think that we'd be doing kind of like more van life right now. I'm actually gutted, but the weather's been awful. It's been raining, it's getting dark. As much as I love autumn, I hate when it starts getting dark early. But yeah, I thought maybe we'd love van life so much that we'd be doing it more or less kind of like almost full time. And then we actually, I don't think we've ever spoken about this, but because of our job and our job role, kind of like, it doesn't really have a category. So getting insurance on the van was impossible. And then at one point they, they we got insured and then we had an email like, Oh, just to let you know, we might not actually be insuring you anymore. We might cancel. Like, what? So I don't even know what's going on there. And it's literally just, we're all over the place. We're just, I don't, I don't know what it is, but we're prone to bad luck. And it's one of those things where it's like, you know, it could be worse. It's like, it's not the end of the world, but it's just like, what is going on? Like we buy a van, there's a rat poison in it. We move into a new house because we want to, you know, we want the nice fresh, fresh air we want the fresh air not the mold air but no we we pick the house that's got damp of course we do are we surprised i'm gonna stop rambling for a second and i'm just gonna make the soup Because there's a gaping hole where this pipe comes through and it's literally under the house with a, there's a branch there's a bloody tree whose idea was it to move into a bloody farmhouse yours oh yeah you know, you when, know when, when you open your cupboard you expect to see mother hubbard but you don't expect mold. well it's a cupboard we don't really i don't ever go into that side there's, there's only paper in there that's bad 
Uh, that is bad. Do you ever just think like, there's no wonder why I'm coming up in rash? I think we'll just close that. Right, right we, we need to live here, Bobby Moon. Yeah, we, we need to let them know about this ASAP because that is not. Why is there a big hole that leads under the house? Well, there's a pipe there. Yeah, but why is it so big? You should seal around the pipe, surely. You don't need a massive hole. Yeah. Anything could come up through there as well, like a mouse or anything. <laughs> that's what. It you just, know what? That's yeah. what that is. How do you know that's not a mouse under there? What? Making a nest. Why is there sticks there? And why is the soil coming out from the side? Oh, don't bit? say stuff like that to me. It just gets worse. <gasps> we shall eat first, deal with the problem in a second. Look at that, that looks fun. Tabby dosy that does. Ah, lovely. It's nice. More. Yes. Please heal me. <coughs> You've got some of this for your dinner. I've saved you some. Mm. More. That is good. So recently we've started hearing like a weird noise from. I don't know if you can see. Like this is our cupboard, and this is how far the cupboard goes back. And then this one only goes this far back. You can't even tell on camera, but this 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 one is like really far forward. You can kind of like see where the screws are under there. And it could be because our extractor fan is here and the cupboard is here. So it could just be the extractor fan because it sounds kind of like a, a weird vent noise. But um, Connor seems to think it sounds like scurrying, which wouldn't be good if we had like mice behind there or something. So um, we're gonna we're gonna check what it is. Did somebody ask for DIY Garlo? <laughs> no. Did DIY Garlo ever succeed in any of his ventures? No, he gave up. Did he? Because he had other things to concentrate on, like editing the videos for our beautiful, wonderful followers. Mm. It's definitely behind this, whatever it is. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm trying to get in there. Yeah, there we go. Nice. It is. You're such an idiot. I knew it. That's where the extractor fan goes, but... I mean, yeah, that's disgusting. What is that? Oh, it's poo. That's rat, that's mouse or rat poo. <laughs> I knew it. Give me mercy. I bloody knew it. There's a mouse. I knew there would be a mouse. The extractor fan don't even work properly anyway. Probably got holes in it from the Yeah, mouse. but my question is, how, how is there... How is there poo on there when it, it looks like the only way in and out is literally through the extractor fan? I don't see any like holes there. The only hole is in up into the next cupboard. No wonder there's damp in the kitchen. Yeah, all the steam's just pumping back out into the walls. Oh, that spider web is something else. All I'm saying is, right, we do live in a farmhouse, so yeah, there's gonna be mice. That's just the way it is. Well, a mouse in the extractor fan's a bit extreme, but isn't it? But that's probably why our extractor fan doesn't work. There's properly. holes in the extractor fan, which means all the steam that's going up into the extractor fan's just coming back out into our cupboard. Yeah, it's all coming out of these holes. I know, I can see it. Can you? Yeah, you can see, I can see, the see it moving. I feel a bit sick. Who brought in the New Year? I think I'll be scraping mouse poo off one of our cabinets at night tonight. But there we are. Never to be unveiled again, hopefully. Welcome to Cozy and Mummy's Baking and Show again! And Daddy. Thanks to the lovely British weather, not much has been happening in our lives, mainly because everywhere surrounding us is flooding right now. Dada. That's Dada. right, you know what? Yeah, that's right. And Dada. All right, it's the cosy mummy and dada baking show. What are you doing then? You're gonna do some stirring. I'm. I'll stir the the, the gossip. Yeah. Okay. Right. You got the bowl. What we, what are we making? Hey. Santa's festive biscuits. I think we're gonna need some milk and butter. This could be interesting. Pardon? I reckon we just wing it on the stove. Three hands. Three hands. Right. So. Where's the instructions gone? Oh, rip the instructions. Ready? In the bowl. Ready? Mm. Oh! You, you stir it for me. Add the unsalted butter. Don't eat it, will you? Right, thank you. Right, we're going to put this on the scales now. Ready? We're going to wait. I, I just need you. Why is it not coming on? Man? Hold it, come on. Yeah. I mean, at this point, we may as well just bake it cosy because he's got more of the ingredients <laughs> on it. It's on you. you. No! Ah! Cozy! Don't eat it! 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 Don't eat
eat it. No! No! Get them. No! Oh my god, Bubby! Don't eat it because it's raw flour. No, no, don't eat it though. Thank you. Back in. It's really sticky. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Well, at the end of the day, if nothing else comes from it, at least you had a bit of messy play. I only added a dash of milk. Maybe we'll buy some pre-made biscuits. Oh yeah, you give it a mix. That'll fix it. You look, at the end of the day, you're having a good time, aren't you, Cozy? And that's, that is the main thing. I'm not going to get mad that I did clean this surface earlier. I'm not. I'm going to see, see past that because you've had a nice time, haven't you? Sorry about that, guys. Let me take this away now. Another thing that comes with living in the countryside, which we have had our fair share of, which I do not like at all, is animals that are not alive anymore. So if you've been watching our videos for a while, you'd know that we had a, a hare in our garden that we had to sadly um, get rid of. We saved a bird though. We, save we a saved bird. a bird that hit the window. And yesterday we heard a big thud. Uh, we walked outside and there's, uh, yeah, this is what happened. A big bird hit our, our van. Uh, One of them big chicken. Put a picture on the screen, big chicken. A big chicken. So whoever's farmers let out the chickens, you need to keep them in the pens because they apparently fly into our van. And we love chickens. I didn't even know chickens could fly. What's the natural way to deal with, the, with how, like, just go in the bin because that feels a bit sad. Were well, you hungry? Because I can preheat the oven. Or... <laughs> well, I'm just saying, at least, it, at least it won't go to waste. To do. This is the ultimate organisation. If you haven't got a to-do list, are you really doing the twos? You need a to-do list. I've got ADHD, already, yeah, so yeah. even if I've got a to-do list, it doesn't. Oh. Really... <laughs> doesn't really help me. But everyone yeah. else... But you feel productive because you've created the to-do list. Yeah, this is a goal achieved right. if I write okay. the squares on here. So, deal with chicken. Deal with chicken. I need to clean the mat outside, which I have left out for ages in the rain. Okay, clean mat. Cozy would not be happy if he saw that. We've got to fix the garage door. Do a load of washing. I do that every day. You haven't touched any of my clothes. Oh, your clothes. Well, you, did you even sort them yet? Yeah, I've sorted them ages ago. Right, well, you didn't tell me that. I would have washed them by now. She well, made me go and do I didn't it. Listen, then, did I? No, you don't listen. You just nod your head and pretend yeah. to listen. We've got to clean the van, and that is a job that we've put off because we haven't been in the van for a while now, and there's still stuff in the fridge. So that's a job that needs to definitely be prioritised. And then we should probably work out how to use our fireplace so that we don't spend a fortune on our heating bill through the winter. <gasps> I know there's another one. Oh, Email about damp. Email about damp. Yes, that is a good thing. We need to do that. Anyway, what are we doing first? Uh, probably deal with the chicken. Why is it always me? Because I'm not good at stuff like I that. I couldn't do this. When I had to do the rabbit, I couldn't do it. You did it? I've got eczema. Oh, I've got eczema though. Do you want the white ones? No, I think the white ones flared. Oh, I don't know which ones flared me. One of them flared me. Ric Flair. It was Ric Flair. <laughs> Again. Whose idea was it to live here? That was so sad. Oh, what's next? Um, well, I, I don't think we're going in any particular order, are we? No. So we can either clean and store the mat or fix the garage door. Ah, job done! Yay! I can't do it. What? Well, my eczema. I can't touch chemicals. Of course you'd come up with a way where I still have to do it. Yeah, of course. Oh, it's all stained. What? Stained. Oh. Washing is next up on the list. I have got two massive blue bags full of washing that needs doing. Connor accidentally bought the wrong fabric conditioner. I didn't realise it like it wasn't the sensitive one. I don't take any chances, so it, it, like, I'm like, it could have been the cause of my eczema. So everything that could have potentially been washed in that conditioner now needs to be rewashed. <laughs> Can blacks go in with colours? I actually have no idea. Oh, I knew we had 
I said they were in the van. Why am I pulling these swing things down? Oh my gosh. Listen, Dave told me if he's strong enough to hold like a million of me. Right, uh, right. you think he was being serious? We'll, we'll see, won't we? Well, it's a good start to the van cleanup then. Oh yeah. If this collapses, hold on, let me get a better angle. Because <laughs> if it does collapse, then that's quality content. Oh my god! This is the best day ever. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You'd never catch me doing something like that. What? <laughs> uh... We didn't empty the bin when we, when we got home. Cleaning supplies. Right, have fun, I'll be back later. Uh, I don't think so, I've got dermatitis. Your inflatable, obnoxious chair. Why is it obnoxious? You're just jealous that you think, didn't think of it. I don't think you need this. Do you know how much room it takes up? You don't need an inflatable chair. Of course I do. What if I get a book on me? A random fan, in case it gets too hot. Oh yes, it's going to get so hot now that we're going into winter. Yeah, we'll get get that out then, because summer's very far away. Keep the kayak in, that's yet to be used. How's it going in there? Oh, what? Tidying-wise, how you doing? I was helping you! By dangling over the edge? <laughs> yeah, I've taken the cover off the duvet. Right. We'll start with the fridge then. What have we left in here? In where? In the fridge. Ah! Is it spinach? Does it smell? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, I don't know if I can do that, Bab. What? What is that? Organic spinach. I thought these organic spinaches were meant to last long. Do you want to come and have a look at it? No. Oh, you wouldn't want that in your smoothie. How long are these grapes in here? Because these look alright. 3rd of October, they look absolutely fine. Except for the mould. Oh my nice. gosh. You want some? I've never seen it that far gone. Thank you. Right, milk. Tomato puree probably gone. Lovely. Needs a bit of a wipe, but you know. The van has still got 100% battery. Oh nice. We haven't well, been in it. For we haven't been in it, so that's not a shock. Well, the fridge has been running. Well, the solar panel must have been cancelling it out then. Must have been. Did we have a sunny day? Why are you disciplining it when we've got a hoover? What? I bought the hoover in. I wondered why you're on your hands and knees this time. Right, well, I've tried my best, but I honestly think the boot of a van or, or, or the garage of a van, it's just impossible to, to like have a tidy, organised space. My question is, did anyone else know that in Cotton Eye Joe, it's if it hadn't have been for Cotton Eye Joe? Because I've been going, if I hadn't been up and I know. And what is it? If I hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd have been married a long time ago. Thrilling. So, uh... As we're doing this van cleaning process, Liana and I have just remembered that we didn't actually empty the toilet. It was only the, it was you that used it, right? I didn't use it. Did you actually use it? Okay. There's actually wee stains in the thing. Oh, really? I like it. You're a mini. I'm not! Right then, let's get the hose on. You all right there? Yeah, yeah, don't worry about me. Don't trip. So we'd lived here for quite a while and didn't realize that we had a pear tree, or a couple of pear trees in our back garden. Someone's been at this one. Bugs. Did you eat the other oh, ones? No, I oh no, I didn't try! Why would you do that? Oh no! Oh. oh, yeah, that'll keep growing now. Oh. Yeah, that don't work. Ow. 
power. Oh, for God's sake. There's a few things still uh, need finishing. Hey. All the day's work. Oh. What? Yeah, well, that can be left for another day. Okay. So, do you know how we were so set on resetting everything? I would just like to update you on what has happened since we saw you last. We didn't do the fireplace. We didn't. What else did we have? We had something else planned. We haven't even written the email about the mould. But I am currently, you won't see this video now for another week because Connor has got food poisoning. <laughs> and not only has Connor got food poisoning, but our little man, his second mole is coming through and he's just been so upset. <laughs> Sorry. He's just been so upset and he's not been eating properly. So his whole system's go. I just want to show you the state of our kitchen because this is this this is it right now and it's fine and we're you know we're doing our best and I'm just making Connor sorry I, <laughs> I feel so bad for both of them um I'm just making Connor a hot water bottle um in hopes that it will help a bit because he's constantly in the bathroom and it's really cold and yeah if he can't get into the duvet I'd rather him be nice and warm but yeah <laughs> This is what we meant about bad luck. One other thing is, well, obviously health always comes first. But do you remember, like, for example, we were supposed to go off in the van and then we couldn't go off in the van because Connor got vertigo. Or, for example, um, we had a sickness bug last year and I couldn't go and see Lewis Capaldi that Connor had bought tickets for. Well, tomorrow we had paid and it wasn't cheap um, because Cozy has been having such... A bad time with his teeth we were like let's go and do something as a family so we booked to go and you can stay at a safari in a lodge and basically like the animal is right <laughs> right outside your window so you're basically your lodge is like in the enclosure and we thought yeah let's have a little family day together it'll be so cute and it's just another one of those things where it's like you've been looking forward to something and just <sighs> obviously health always comes first but I'm just, I'm just fed up of, fed up of bad luck. <laughs> I keep having to tell myself like, oh, it, it could be worse and it really could be worse. But feeling a little bit stressed. And then I've got this to tackle. I'll do the deal that tomorrow morning, I think. In some sort of weird way, when Connor gets ill, it's kind of like, when I was giving birth, he couldn't do much for me. And that's what it feels like when he's poorly. I just, like, I can't make him anything to eat. Like, there's nothing I can do. I guess I suppose he could make me something to eat that's pregnant. I don't know where I'm going with that. But I could rub my back as well. But just in case it's not food poisoning, I'm not going to take any chances. But we're very convinced that it is food poisoning. This is also the state of the living room right now because <laughs> our little man pulled everything out but that is fine and i'll also deal with that <laughs> say it i'll deal with that tomorrow this is my dinner <laughs> because there's nothing in the house well we've got stuff for a curry but connor was making the curry and i'm not good at curry so and there's no point making a curry for one person turns out it wasn't food poisoning <laughs> Because now I'm being poorly. <laughs> Two out of the three of us. Well, it's currently two o'clock. I've had this bug now for 12 hours and I still feel really bad. Connor managed. I think he hadn't. You know, I've been to the toilet since, I want to say, like, 3am, so he's feeling a little bit better today. He's still really poorly, he can't eat, and he's really weak. But, um, yeah, he's, like, he's up, and he's, he's about. And he obviously woke up because our little cosy boy's here, or he was here. 
um, the grandparents have been really nice and they have come to collect him because we don't want him to get poorly. It's the last thing I want for him right now, so they've been really nice and they've come to collect him for a bit. And I think Connor's going to like wipe down all the surfaces and just make sure that the house is bug free while I um, stay in bed until, until it's gone. I'm attempting some juice, but it has stayed down, so fingers crossed. I just look at it, and I just want to down it all, like, right this second. <laughs> I can't. It's like torture. Oh, I'm so dry and crusty and hurty and dry. Did I say dry? Because I'm really dry and hurty and crusty. Huh. <sighs> 